to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be playing with this 3D printer again. It's been a while since I had it on the table. Actually it's been on the table for the whole entire time but it's been a while since I've been playing with it so I'm gonna see if I can fix the issues that I have. If I can't you won't be watching this film right now. <laughs> and while you're at it please give this video a thumbs up so that uh, more people can enjoy it. And the problem that I think I have is underneath the printing head. It's, well, if you see, I've, got a, I've gotten a package from China and it's small iron things. And that's the piece of metal that goes from, from the top part up here where the engine is uh, pulling or actually, actually it's pushing the thread through and it goes down through this little piece and it goes down to the heating element. Oh, we can't see that. I was fine. I was trying to get the camera low enough so that I could show this and I just came up with another plan. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put some more distance between this so that we can go in under it and it might be nicer to work with also. It takes a while though. One centimeter at a time. One, one centimeter at a time. Now I think we can start to see what I was talking about. Uh, it's in there. It's not very visible, but that's the the burner head, and it's not hot right now. And I'm not gonna heat it up because I. I want to take this apart and it's really a lot easier when it's cold. I'm going to be taking it apart and trying to replace this. And the thing that I expect that is wrong with the one I got is that this little piece of Teflon was damaged when I, when I assembled this thing and tested it out for the first time. So I bought new ones. Um, I couldn't just buy one. Uh, I got five of these and they weren't even very expensive. Two and a half dollars uh, the packet says. Uh, I'm not sure if, if that's correct. I can't remember. And here it is. I took it a little bit apart uh, and it's this metal rod in there that I have to replace. I have no idea how complicated this is yet. but. I'll bet that I'll, I'll get this done. Oh, this is tight. <laughs> okay, I got this apart and I even had this loosened and I can still see through this. So that's a, I think that's a really good thing. And now I just have to take this apart and down here I can see where the plastic is. Can you see that down there? There's plastic around there and I am pretty sure that's not supposed to be there, so that's why this thing keeps clocking up. I really wonder why there's a hole inside of this. That's funny or oh, weird. I'm gonna get rid of that. Maybe with some better lighting it's more visible. I would expect that this would be the problem, like I was never able to get the Teflon entirely down. And on these that I bought, it's all the way down. It's a bit embarrassing, but I'm not able to free this. Um, this is in there too tight, so now I'm heating up the extruder to see if that will melt the plastic in here. And right now it's, oh, it's already over a hundred degrees Celsius. I think I'll stop it there. And with a little bit of heat, it was almost too easy. It's coming out, no problem whatsoever. So that, that helped a lot. And it's smoking down there. So now I have to put on the new one. And yes, I had to find the big tools for this job. Well, I was putting this, uh, together again and I was looking on this thing 
and it has like an it's not straight here it, it's like it's supposed to meet up with this so that this has a bit of error correction it can come from a it can come a little from the side and still go down the middle this side was pointing down on the one I had the error correction bit was pointing in the wrong direction I, I I'm guessing so I think it has to be on the other side around I'm gonna try that and put this side down instead like I think yeah that's down something like this and it has to meet up with the, with the chip something like that and I'm gonna tighten the tip a bit I think that's the way it, it should be and then I just have to take this fastening screw out of there and put it on here now this piece should go up inside of this thing and be more able to catch the catch the filling when it comes down and goes into the extruder um, I hope that's I hope that's correct well it's all put together again that didn't really take that long that was kind of that was okay and everything is kind of tied and at least it's okay I wouldn't expect that I have to measure everything out again if I just hit kind of this point everything should be okay I hope and guess and I'll test it of course well and of course while messing with this the distance from the head and to the to the base has changed so I'll have to calibrate the base all of the way around anyways everything is assembled and and I've kind of also calibrated the, the distance from the head to the to the bend. And right now I'm heating the extruder right there. And I'm gonna see if I can get some plastic through it. And there is a like there's a little test button here. I should be able to do something. Yeah, and there's plastic coming out of it. Of that it's very good right there ah. try again yeah. I would have preferred it if it had gone straight down instead I've just loaded this little test robot that comes with the program and we're gonna try and run that job and it's gonna go over and it's gonna heat up the bed right there that should be heating up yeah it's it's heating up it should try to reach 50 degrees okay it's getting close to 50 degrees now there's 46 47 48 49 and apparently that was close enough and why did it go up oh it didn't it's going down P 
piece of broken plastic down there is not good. But maybe it will be good anyway. Now we're close to this thing. That was one of the earlier tries. And this one was the one that got the fur furthest. And there it messed up. I might as well stop it. Well, it wasn't tight enough fastened to the plate, so it fell off. I will, I will have to try it again. It wasn't... It got further. This one is a lot better than the, than the one I've done before. That is this one. And that's really ugly. And this one is, except that big clump right there, the rest of it looks pretty, pretty good. Well, so far these two are the old ones, and these four are the ones that are failed today already. And right now it's 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 as far as it has come as of today. The little robot is kind of taking form. I have some more light. Oh, that was too much light. And it has been working for this for mm, about a half an hour. So every time it fails, it, it takes a while to uh, to start over and kind of have to clean off all the mess. Although it, it hasn't been too bad yet. This is going really well. I think I think the robot might be finished on this one. That's so cool. Well, we're just about there. It's a robot. And we're on layer number 337 out of 338. So now it should be done. It's done. My first project completed the bed is heating turning off and this one is probably cooling off as well so that's cool okay this one is pretty well stuck there actually and get it off. There it is. The first little robot. It looks pretty nice. Hmm. There are some errors here and there. But I'm not complaining. Compared to the other results down here. I would say that <clears throat> the robot is the best one. So the 3D printer has been fixed. It was the metal thing. And you can kind of see that it was pretty bad. And it was installed upside down. Uh, the extruder was actually assembled when I got it. And it might have been a mistake that I didn't check that. Because um, I was just happy that that part was already assembled so I didn't have to worry about that 
apparently this one was mounted the wrong way and that's probably why I ruined the, the Teflon thing and had to put that back in these small spare parts they were really only a few dollars uh, the biggest hurdle was that it, it took quite a while to get them shipped from China and I've been busy doing so many other things so I haven't really played with them for a while so but thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and give me that thumbs up that you forgot at the start of the video have a nice day bye bye